Welcome to OpenOffice Video. In this video, we'll go over basic formatting. For this, we'll need the dummy text, so we'll open a previously created document. I'll just click Open. Now my files come up, and I'll select Ipsum, which is the file I created. Um, this is in Latin, actually. It's a dummy text that you'll find in a lot of uh, programs. Doesn't matter, but it I actually find that it was by Citro. Um, what we can, what we'll do is we'll uh, select fonts, we'll select font types, we'll select headings. Well, the obvious one is the font size to start with. Let's say this, we want to make the second paragraph smaller. We select it here, and we go here. We have the text body. That's a style. We'll get into into that in a moment. We have font name, which is Times New Roman, we'll leave it at that, and the font size, that is what we were looking at. We'll change this to 10 by selecting it from the drop-down menu. Alternator, alternatively, we can select this and just type 11, press enter, and you see the text becomes larger again. Okay, now we want to make this paragraph, let's say we want to make it bold. It's here. Alternatively, we can use the short key, which it displays in the little tip box, the yellow ye yellow box that you see appearing. Here it is for underline. Um, you can also use that. Um, and we can change the font name here by clicking on this arrow, and a whole list comes down, and it will actually display the font name in the corresponding font. So we'll choose Verdana for now. Well, this is very straightforward. Um, let's say we want to make headings here. Heading 1. And we want to give this the style Heading 1. You see now it becomes bolder and here we have a subparagraph and we which will be Heading 2. We'll give that the style heading 2. Now the great thing is once you apply these headings, here the heading 1 is the bigger and heading 2 is smaller and heading 3 is even smaller. Um, once you apply these, uh, if you later decide that you want to change the font, for example, for the style, uh, and you change them, you, they were changed throughout the whole document, so you don't have to go over all the headings and changing them individually, which is a huge help. So it's a good habit to always use these styles, heading one, two, sometimes three, and text body for uh, for formatting. Um, there are more uses of them. We'll go, go over them in a later video. But this is basic basic formatting for now. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Bye.